Hey guys, I'm Derek, the Children's Pastor at Lego Christian Center. And I want to show you how to do the lost and found card trick that Dodo did. All you need to do this is a standard deck of cards, a marker or pen or, or pencil, anything to write with. It can even be a whiteboard, um, dry erase, anything like that would work perfectly fine. <clears throat> and uh, basically you're doing some simple card trick moves. Okay, so you can do uh, some pretty simple moves uh, to, to make this work. The first thing is having the volunteers choose the card. To have them choose a card, do it any way you want. It doesn't matter what card they choose. You let them choose a card, they choose their card. Then they can either write that down on a piece of paper or however you're going to have them write it down and put it somewhere where you can't see it. And you want to kind of you want to keep it in order, you know, if the first the first one written down, the second one written down, the third one written down. You want to know that order so you don't uh, mess up. So then, once they're done with that card, you're going to have them put it back in the deck. So you break the deck like this. They're going to put this back in the deck. And then what, what I do for this kind of trick is I get that, I'm going to get that card to the top of the deck. Simplest way that I, that I feel to do that is a double, uh, double cut, a double undercut. You take this, you create a pinky, put your pinky on top of this. That's the card that was just selected. You set this group of cards on top of that with your pinky underneath it. Then you're going to double undercut. You're, you take the pinky break, replace it with a thumb break like this, and you're going to grab a group of cards, not all of them, about half, and pull them from the bottom to the top. You're undercutting. Settle the cards. You're going to do it again, but now you're bringing the card that was selected to the top. So, at kind of a full speed here, we would have like this card selected. It is, interestingly enough, the King of Hearts. Then they would take that card, they'd write it down, you have them place it in the middle of the deck, put it in, you've got your pinky break, you do your first cut, you do your second cut, and now that card is on the top of the deck. And then you can do a shuffle, once it's on the top, and you, since you know this side is the one with the card, you just shuffle and make sure that side ends up on the top, so that it's not mixed in with the rest of the cards. You can do that a few times if you know how, because a lot of people actually think you're shuffling. Anyway, so you do that and you say the card's lost. And the reason um, Dodo kept saying you give them a hand, well first of all, it's nice for your volunteers to get a hand for what they've done. But the other reason was he would, he would turn to the side to, to point his hand to them and say give them a hand because he would take this deck of cards and he'd put it to his pocket and he was taking the first card, sliding it off the deck and into his pocket right there on the side. Alright, so that was the first one. So let's just pretend this is my pocket. Then you do the same thing again, have a card selected, go through that whole thing all over again and you're going to do the same thing. You want to make sure when you slide this second one in that you don't slide it, that either you slide it to one side or the other. You need to know which side you're sliding it into your pocket. So you slide it like that and then the third one, same thing, slide it like that. Now you know that this is the first card, this is the second card, this is the third card. So when you go back to have somebody else choose cards after that, there's a couple different ways you could do this. Now, first thing you have to do is you have to reach in to your pocket to steal the card. So you reach in and you can go in and you take that first card. Now that top card is the card you need them to choose. Now, with a classic force, you can kind of make them honestly choose that card. But it's it's not all, it's not an exact science. It's a you really kind of have to work with it. But you cut the deck so that you're back to where a pinky break is over the card that's selected and you tell them to select a card, you tell them to put their finger on a card and you go through the cards and you kind of, as they're bringing their finger down you make sure that you time it just right so that they put their finger on the card you want them to pick 
And that's how you classic force. It's the best force you can do. And see, then that would have the king of hearts. Now, if you notice, the last person that Dodo did the trick for, they, what happened, which you can't really tell, but this is what happened. Dodo was going through the cards, and they put their finger, they quickly put their finger on, like, this card. And the card I need them to pick is way down here. So Dodo said, are you sure you want this card? And then they were like, yes, of course I'm sure. And when you're talking to them, they're going to look to your face. And all you have to do is, are you sure you're going to get this card? And they're going to look to your face. And when you do, you can just go push all that over, pull this card back out, and say, are you sure you want this card? And then you let them take it. And they think that's the card they actually put their finger on. And that's why you want to tell them to put their finger on it. You don't want them to grab or take the card. Because otherwise they'll grab the card and you don't want them to. So, that's, that's a classic force. There's many other ways to force a card on someone like that. You could do the, the tried and true. Just tell me when to stop with your thumb. Tell me when to stop. And then boop. And it doesn't matter where they say stop. You can just pull off from where your pinky is and have them choose the card that is the selected card. Then the thing is, is you want to make sure you get them one at the right order. You'll see Dodo didn't do that. Dodo got the second one, then the first one, then the third one. So they were off, but that's okay. We even had somebody write down the eight of hearts instead of eight of spades, and that was partly Dodo's fault because he used a deck of cards that all of the pips, even the black ones, were white. So that was probably confusing to the person writing it down. So those are just some Good tips to remember doing this. And um, if you're having trouble, let us know. Enjoy it.